Now I can see that the Nigerian government indeed don't want peace in this country. As I am talking to you right now, my brothers and sisters, report has just reached us that a military aircraft is seen engaging with residents on the grounds of suspected Eastern Security Network in Akwaibon State. The Nigerian military aircraft, the Nigerian Army, Navy and police personnel are currently in a Kwaibon state engaging with residents on suspicion of the hiding operative of the Eastern Security Network in a gun battle. My brothers and sisters, in case you don't know what is going on in the Eastern region, you see, what took place in Imo State, where the unknown gunmen storm the police headquarters and prison is still something of concern. As I am talking to you right now, do you know that the Inspector General of Police have pointed finger at the indigenous people of Biafra that they are the one responsible for this. How can these people just wake up without any investigation then start pointing finger at the indigenous people of Biafra and the Eastern Security Network? You see, they cannot, you know, fish out all those Fulani people that have been causing atrocities in our land, but they are very quick to point out finger that the indigenous people of Biafra are the ones behind this attack. When have the indigenous people of Biafra and the Eastern Security Network become the unknown gunmen. So you see, these people are causing confusion. And it's very unfortunate that some people cannot open their eyes and see what is going on right now. You see, now they have sent in another, you know, aircraft in a quiet bond state, thinking that they are still going to be able to locate the hideout of the Eastern Security Network. But one thing they don't understand is that we are everywhere. We are are everywhere we have said this long time ago that the people are indeed behind this security outfit there is no way that they can counter this security outfit because we are everywhere for their information the eastern security network have over 5 million active members and outstanding 10 million applicants waiting to join. They will defend our land. We are very proud of them. So if they think that they can go after the Eastern Security Network, then they are making a big mistake. And this is what I keep on telling the so-called, you know, leaders in the Eastern region. So my brothers and sisters, I want you all to understand that as I am talking to you right now, unknown gunmen have attacked another police station in Imo State. As a matter of fact, they want to show the nine Nigerian government that there is nothing they can do they will keep on attacking they want to intimidate the Nigerian police and army to show them that if they indeed want anything serious against this security operative then they have what it takes so my brothers and sisters I want to encourage the Nigerian government to desist from the act of pointing finger at the indigenous people of Biafra and the Eastern Security Network because we don't have anything to do with the unknown government men. As a matter of fact, all the evil atrocities that they have been committing in our land is enough for the people to be upset with this government. They are not even thinking along this line. But look at what has been happening in our land. They have marginalized and treated us like slaves. They have done everything to make sure that we don't develop our land. They have hindered us from moving. They don't want us to leave this country. Yet, they keep on oppressing us. Why won't the people be angry with this kind of treatment and yet when we react they say that we are overreacting so i want to encourage everybody to understand that with what is going on right now the only simple solution to the problem is disintegration we have to disintegrate and go our separate ways because this is the only way that we can indeed move forward as a people and as a nation some people cannot even open their eyes to see what is going on which is very unfortunate most especially the leaders from the the eastern region they cannot even open their eyes to the reality of things and this is the reason why they are clamoring for 2023 presidential election but when you look very closely you will see that nigeria is heading towards another civil war and it's very unfortunate that some people are aiding this civil war you see the nigerian inspector general of police cannot even you know fish out those people behind the lekito gates incident they cannot even fish out 
about what has been happening in our land. And yet, they are very quick to point finger at the indigenous people of Biafra and the Eastern Security Network for them being responsible for the attack on the police station headquarters in Imo State without doing any investigation. Now, this is the way they operate in this country, which is very unfortunate. So, my brothers and sisters, I want to encourage all of us to rise up in large numbers and support Maa Zemna Nikano in the fight for our freedom. We need to understand that it is now or never. Let nobody deceive you that Biafra is not here. Why do you think that they invited the British government to come and oversee over the affairs of Nigeria, especially in terms of security? Why do you think that the British government is here right now? Because they cannot personally defeat the Eastern Security Network and they know this. They know that we are not waging war with the Nigerian government by protecting our land. Um, for this reason, they are not happy because they can no longer invade our land and control the narratives. You see, one of the things that they are scared of is because of how Ma Zem Narikano has successfully won the hearts of our people and everybody is now calling for disintegration. If they cannot control the narrative in our land, then that means they will lose the land sooner or later. And this is the reason why they are skeptical. But I want you all to understand something we are going to win the war against the cabal because we stand for justice we stand for what is right we only want our people not to be treated like slaves we don't want anybody to invade our land when the Fulanis invaded our land and was treating us like slaves even killing the farmers and raping our women where was the nigeria inspector general of police and all the people that are now crying consigning the activities of the unknown gunmen you see, the so-called leaders in the eastern region, most especially the southeast, was not this active like they are right now. And yet, they think that the people don't have eyes to see for themselves. So, my brothers and sisters, we have to rise up in large numbers and support Maazem Nadikano in the fight to disintegrate Nigeria because I can tell you that all Nigerians are victims of circumstances. If we don't do what is needed to be done right now, then that means we have accepted to be slaves in the hands of the same people that have been treating us like slaves. So we need to rise up and do what is needed to be done. We need to understand that it is now or never. So please, let us all join Ma Zem Nadikano in the fight to disintegrate Nigeria for the betterment of our people. Thank you.